Hello. Uh, today we are going to uh, Yew Tree in Boxwood Tree Grove. It's uh, located nearby the city Hosta. How to get there, first of all? Uh, take a bus or take a cab or take a train to Hosta station. There is only one big station in Hosta. And from that, a few kilometers walking or cab or another bus and it will take you to this road, to this uh, grove, right to the entrance. Ticket cost 300 rubles, so uh, for about five dollars. It's always the currency is changing, you know, it's going up, going low. There is two paths inside, small and big one. Small about two kilometers, big one about five kilometers. Of course, I advise you to take the big one. Uh, there is no big hills, so it's quite comfortable for anybody. And you can cover all the distance within one hour. If you will make a stop so for photos or a picnic, then you can take two or three hours. And of course, today I'm going with my darling Ponka and our wonderful friends, Artem and Develina. And with you, of course, my lovely, lovely followers and friends. And if you choose to walk, that's the road. I think it's the only one that goes straight up to the hill. And again, we've made a mistake taking on the coats because it's very hot. While we're still on the road to the Grove entrance, I decided to say a few words about Hosta. First of all, as Arthur, my friend, said, and I can agree with them, Hosta reminds us of Zyglovsk. And we've been in Zyglovsk together. We were walking in the hills, you know, football game a little bit. So you've seen it in a few episodes before. It's a very small, cozy, quiet city with a lot of nature around it. And it's got its own train station. It's located right in between Sochi, Emiritinka, and maybe Krasnaya Poliana. So that's the entrance. Many wild animals inside. So be careful and enjoy your walk here. Okay, and there is a woman who's saying, if you come here for the first time, come over here, we'll give you some interactions. But I read that berries is poisoned. I mean, you won't die from it, but you feel bad. It's around us, everywhere. We're really liking being here. The nature is magnificent. There is 500 different uh, rare trees and plants, as well as animals. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't know all the names. For, for example, raccoons, bears, fox, rabbits, but also babri with the tail, kunitsy, эти ласки маленькие, so many many different animals, you can read about it, and, uh, and many animals and plants is from a red book. Not many places in the world where you can see a uh, boxwood tree, in Russian, it's funny, the name is some shit, yeah, true, boxwood in Russian is some shit, so if you want to look some shit, come over to this growth. I'm thinking for the second time now. So many different places. I mean, waterfalls, city, and now this wonderful landscapes. Russia is crazy. This one is like huge crack. I don't know the word. Georgian oak. 400 years. Can you imagine? 400 years. We've just made a decision that we will take a big circle because we like being in here. And I'll just repeat just in case, five kilometers is the 
length of the big circle 1.6 is for the small one that was the entrance that was the place where you should make a decision the big circle the small circle small circle small circle sorry is like there is a few interesting places and a giant yew tree also in there but in big way there is and even an ancient fortress and this canyon is not for us so when you be here please find time to get here then when you get back get the, get and uh, take a look at this giant tree but for us we'll go on this way and welcome to the lord of the rings filming set watch out don't let stones down slope people beneath i've read read i've read that this area looks like all the europe was looking 20 million years ago hardest part of the road for the moment so I can say it's quite easy hope you get stamina that's the only thing you need sometimes a slippery stones sometimes white stones we made a little break in our walk through the uterine boxwood grove because we're a little bit tired and the air here is very good for your health and the lungs especially and now at a time where everybody is fighting against pandemic maybe being here in this place is the best way to treat your body and your lungs so why won't we take a pause for 10 minutes and take care of ourselves a little bit and you take care of it of yourself the woman at the entrance said that they, you get meet a bear here especially when the light goes down the sun goes down and we're a little bit starting to be scared we're playing around like we're scared and i said in in the beginning that two hours will be enough now four hours to get to the canyon on the big circle and return to the small one and take a look at the giant tree red pit with the fishing stick that's for sure if you are a Shaquille O'Neal careful be careful here you can hit your head here Shaquille O'Neal warning <laughs> oh so many fish here again and in the summer period I've seen the snakes in the water a couple of times but don't be afraid the snake cannot open the mouth in the water the local snake so you are not in danger just don't try to pull it out of the water okay just always respect the nature and don't touch it oh my god this is something ancient my friend oh a spider a lot of spiders i don't like spiders i thought it's a bad case for it's a spider-man trap that's where peter was bitten i don't want to touch it okay getting down it's very hot in here like in a steam room Whew. Looks like we made it. Done. Go to Russia, subscribe our channel, press the heart button, and and cheers, friends. Have a good day. As I promised, today we're going to a uh, kind of a second part of our event, abandoned Orjunikidze Hotel. Uh, it's located up right between uh, Sochi and Hosta on the road, so you can easily get here by the bus. The stop is named. Ostanovka Sanatori Primorye and also it could be repeated in English uh, Primorsky Hotel so um, or you can get a cab and I think it's quite hard to get here by the train but you still you can do it when you see those bushes around Sochi be careful the spikes not only very sharp but they are hard they hurt the most dangerous bushes here around this area is the rump. remember those so this is like a spine 
there are a few interesting buildings right here and one of them is looking it remind me of Spain of those southern countries maybe South America due to the sanatorium isn't called like abandoned some part of it is still proper and it's working like this one so you can see all the uh, windows are brand new made of plastic this place is only good for uh, pictures you know the photos like <laughs> make me a photo yeah yeah okay keep on going there's a palm wow a palm and uh, this one is located just nearby the main gate and you can see a lot of people is coming here especially for making photos and if you're thinking that that's the Arjuna Kids Hotel then it's not it's just on the same territory and the Arjuna Kids Hotel on the left from this building to have a uh, proper navigation there's a building in front of it you can see the sea so okay sea is behind you this building in front of you and you need to go over there on the left on the spike oh strange dude strange dude he's making a video about the tree okay okay strange but i'm okay with it and then here we did find some boxwood. I think this is the boxwood, my friends. Yeah, it's a boxwood. Well known in Russia as some shit. So Arjunikiza Center was started building at 1935. Something about that. It was completed in a few years. A few more years took for a fountain, the main fountain to appear. Later, it was operational till 2010. But then, it got closed and the government tried to reopen it to the Olympics but they failed because there is not only a lot of money they need to restore the operational and the view but also the government built some not government somebody built a huge building above it on the hill so the ground start moving many many problems going uphill there will be two options turning on the right and turning on left so you go there because in there there is nothing but in here you get into the a pine tree a relic pines big ones tall ones and the fresh air so you gotta get to this building and now just explore the territory okay and take a look at the tree the texture oh they growing here for hundreds of years, hundreds of years. So let's take a look into the window. Honestly, also, there is not much thing to say. It was a beautiful building, it's still a beautiful building. It was operational, then it's closed because everything is getting fall apart. And before it's completely demolished by the time, I highly recommend you, like I insist, you need to go to Russia, to Sochi, to see this wonderful hotel. hotel doesn't look abandoned at all it's like a content factory around here <laughs> everybody making shots even I so that was our short trip to Arjuniki the sanitarium abandoned hotel Arjuniki then the whole point was that I was trying to show that the Sochi is not only the natural area but also have a lot of interesting buildings and infrastructural places for uh, for to visit so I think should grade this place at the highest level 
this abandoned hotel doesn't look abandoned to me. Thousands of people making a good photo, so do I. And you should go to Russia, come to Sochi, step inside the territory and make wonderful photos for your Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever, for your social nets. And guys, please go to Russia, subscribe our channel, press the hot button and thank you for your supporting. That's very important. And uh, see you soon. We're going to the hamburger store because we are very hungry. Na 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 na